Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the free RTOS lessons on ESP thirty two zero one introduction. Okay. So in this video, we will focus on two questions. One is why free RTOS. Another one is why ESP. Okay. So, uh, the first question is why, why we need the free RTOS? Why we need to study it? Okay. So first, the free RTOS is free. It's totally free. Uh, you can use it in any uh projects, any one projects, any commo commercial projects. Okay. And it also, uh, it is open source. You can download it from the website, uh, from the free RTOS store org website. Okay, you can download it, and you can check all the source code. Okay, so it's totally free. Okay, so second, uh, it is an RTOS. It's a real time operating system software. Okay. It is a software. So first, it is an operating system. Okay, it is an operating system. It means we can design our software into different modules: module one, module two, module module n. Okay. So for the operating system module design, we have lots of benefits. At least we have these three. The first one uh, is very good for the teamwork. So some people on some people work on module one, and, and another people on working on the module two, and so on. And because we divided our code into different module, and so it's very easy to test. It's very easy to test. They have a separate input and output. Okay, and the three. So we can reuse uh, every module because it is uh, operation system. Uh, because it is an operating system. So the um. Application software will be in one module, and the hardware software will be in another module. So the application software will be easily reused it in different project. Okay. Okay. So next, it is a real time system. It is a real time system. This free RTOS uh, is a real time system. We can divide it, our um, application requirement into different task task one, two, three, and give the uh, task different priority. The high priority is always run first. Okay, we always uh, run the high priority task first. Okay, so it is a real time operating system. And the next uh, is very tiny and simple. Uh, this whole system is very tiny and simple. Only three C files. So if you go uh, go to the website, you will see here. The core RTOS code is only three files. Three files. One is task.c. Another one is Q dot C, and another one is list dot C. So it's very simple. And if you download the source code, it will be um. If you download the source code, it will be uh, in the source folder. Is this one, this one, and this one is these three files? Okay, is these three files? And so. The file, uh, 
is only three files, it means we can easily understand the operation system. Also, very easy to debug, and、uh, also the call size, the call size will be very small. Okay, so it's very good for the our embedded system MCU micro microcontroller. It's very good for our、um, microcontroller, which has limited resource for the call. Okay, so this is uh, uh, tiny and simple. For the system, and the next, this ah、uh, this free RTOS is well supported. is well supported. It has been ported ah、uh, into different platform. Let's see. So Atera, okay, this is a FPGA company. So based on this chip, is also a、uh, Synix here. Ah,、uh, is also Synix. Is also I think it has been porting into this chip. Okay, this chip is also a FPGA chip. Okay,、um, it also porting to the ST microcontroller. This is famous ST32. Okay, famous ST32, and also some other、uh, chip like uh, uh, Infinity. And Cypress, okay, at Mel, okay, so uh, it well supported, uh, is well supported, so we can um easily find some um supported demo for the uh RTOS, okay. Also, of course, it has been porting uh porting on the ESP thirty two, okay. The、uh, operation system for this chip, we, it is use the free RTOS. Okay, so next question: Why we need to、um, study this system on the ESP32? Okay. Why ESP32? Okay. So ES30, ESP32 is a wonderful chip. It's a wonderful chip, and.、Uh, At the least, it has、uh, the feature like this. The first things the ESP32 is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip. It support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at the same time.、Uh, it including the no energy Bluetooth five. Okay, it including the no energy Bluetooth five. The second. The ESP32 has internal internal flash and S S RAM. Okay, so for some small application, so we no need extend we no need added extra flash and S RAM on the board. Ah,、uh, it will ah、uh, si simplify the design hardware design. Okay, also cost down our project. Okay. And it has lots of function for the chip, I two C S P I, I two S U R A D C D A C R T C, and the event U S B. Okay, event U S B. For one of the chip, it has the U S B O T G. Okay, it has the U S B O T G for the chip. So it's very, ah,、uh, it's very a powerful chip. Okay, so next, and、uh, it has a small size. Ah,、uh, it is is very is very good for the portable device. It's very good for the portable device design, and、uh, for 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 this chip, for this chip, it even integrate the crystal and the,、uh, some other、uh, Wi-Fi components inside the chip. Okay, inside the chip. So for the hardware design, it's very easy. It's very easy. Okay, the last one, lower price. Oh, for this chip, it's very cheap compared other Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip. This one is very, the price is very low. Okay, the price is very low. Okay, so this is the introduction 
for the、uh, free RTOS on the ESP32, we will、uh, we will. We will study the、uh, free RTOS to see how it,、um, how the coding,、uh, how the how how it works on the ESP32. Okay, so ah,、uh, so this is for this video, and、uh, I'm Michael, and、uh, see you next time.